say that the victim has been pronounced deceased at 13 one fifty nine hours today. Um, South Bureau Homicide is working this case as are many other detectives. PNB Rock, and he had a lot of devoted fans. One of them spoke to us here at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffle uh, this morning, and he says he is heartbroken. His girlfriend posted a picture of her food with the location on her Instagram story. And people believe that's what led to PNB Rock's death. At the Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, Monday in broad daylight. And now LAPD Chief Michael Moore says the rapper, whose legal name is Rakeem Allen, was targeted. The robber demanded the Philadelphia rapper's valuables, including his custom chain. Before going to Roscoe's, the late rapper posted a video to his Instagram story wearing a chain similar to the one you see here from a previous post. According to the LA Times, police have put pawn shops on alert about the chain and other items. They've got the pawn shops blanketed. I think that's obviously going to be a bad idea to try to pawn it in there. Reichel says there are laws Something in place. Something similar happened in 2020 when the rapper Pop Smoke was murdered during a home invasion in the Hollywood Hills. In that case also, social media posts with location tags led the killers to where he was. Fans of PNB Rock say he had an inspiring story. He came from a tough neighborhood spent time behind bars and had turned his life around only to be killed like so many other rappers. Hey y'all, it's your girl Danielle Petit and I'm back on another one, sadly. Tragic and all the above. And with that being said, everything I am saying in this video is all public knowledge and my own opinion, so don't come for me in the comments. I'm just speaking from my thoughts and experience on true crime and all that so with that being said i will continue so we are sadly talking about pmb rock and him getting shot and killed at roscoe's chicken and waffles and he sadly died at the age of 30. he was known for him being a rapper and he also almost got robbed or killed prior to this in LA but that was another time and he survived but tragically this this time around was worse because his BM posted their location with a picture of the waffles and the chicken at the place that they were at including their location wow right yeah same thing happened to pop smoke his location was leaked and his house was ran down on so it's just like i don't know what's going on with these broke mother lovers around here that can't just go out and get a job but they want to just sit here and take everybody else's what they work hard for <sighs> you know it's just so sad he was only 30 years old he didn't deserve it. He had kids, you know, had his whole life ahead of him. He was just getting started. And then this tragically happened. But, you know, I just wanted to come on here and get you guys' thoughts and opinion because of the simple fact that they are saying that they feel like his baby mom set him up because prior to this, they were arguing allegedly, allegedly, so I'm like, but I mean, and mind you, she just got her Instagram back the day before that she was off of Instagram. I don't recall why her Instagram was taken away from her. If you guys know that, leave that in the comments, but her Instagram was taken away from her and then she just got it back the day prior and then this happened. So it was just like, what? It's like, she shouldn't have never even got her Instagram back if it was me, I'm thinking. But, you know, everybody deserves their freedom of speech. And that's what I feel like Instagram and Facebook is all about. You speaking your mind, showing your mind, showing everything about yourself and whatever. It's yours. But I don't know, you know, I'm still gathering information. I'm still thinking about what's going on. So you guys just leave your thoughts and opinion in the comment bar box below. And I will... Keep y'all up to date later. Make sure you comment. I mean, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not.